Hello lovely subscribers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you along on my flight journey with a two year old, share ideas and also let you know how I got on. I'll also be showing you the moment we got to the hotel and give you a room tour. You even see me drunk in front of the camera for the first time. So stay tuned for a real insight into what it's like with no sugar coating when taking your toddler on holiday. So we woke up at about 4am and the night before I tried to put Arlo's bedtime a little bit earlier so we moved it to 6.30pm instead of about half seven we put him to bed normally. I gave him a bath and put him to sleep in his plain clothes to try and avoid unnecessary disturbance in the morning. Mikey's dad picked us up and took us to the airport and when we were ready to leave the suitcases were in the car and everything I just quickly swooped Arlo up and put him in the car just to try and help him go back to sleep. He didn't go back to sleep but the car journey was about 20 minutes to London Luton Airport. We got there and he was so tired. We actually saw Shaq and Tanya from Love Island quite a few times in the airport and Tanya smiled at Arlo when he was running off. Hi, it can't be too long because of the music, but we just got through security and it was actually okay. Um, we just had a bit of a meltdown at the, uh, what was it, like the baggage. It was called security. Secur security bit. Um, but yeah, he's been good so far in the airport, but we are in Frankie and Benny's. And we're just going to have some food, yeah, and then we're going to go uh, on the airplane. So after we went to Frankie and Benny's, we realized we had literally no time left. So we ran through the airport and tried to get to the gate. We made it on time, but it was all very dramatic. And Arlo's trunky definitely came in handy at this point. We got on the plane and luckily no one booked the seat next to us, which was really, really lucky um, as we only booked two seats and Arlo's under two. So this was a godsend for us and meant that Arlo could actually like lay down and sleep properly and have just some extra room on the plane. The flight was actually really speedy and what we did is we had about 20 minute intervals of like using different toys so for example here he's using his play-doh which is allowed through airport security so it's a great little thing to bring um, you can bring it with a duplo figure someone i think one of my followers suggested it to me so we're playing with play-doh here which was really fun for him to do we also packed lots of toys like cars we got some cars from poundland we wrapped them up in wrapping paper and then just like got one out at a time until we got bored um we br brought some coloring books we also brought some spinners to use on the windows and we used loads of things really we had like a whole bag of things and also snacks if you want to see more of what i brought check out my last video which was what i packed for my toddler going on holiday which gives everything including links so the flight was actually okay and he was entertained for the first part and then he was really, really tired and went into a state of pure chaos basically for half an hour. He really wanted to get down and he just didn't want to sit still. He was so tired and he actually ended up biting me. And then he fell asleep for the last, I think, hour and a half of the flight. So apart from that 30 minutes, it was actually okay. It was on the way back home that we had the worst situation with him. So the way there wasn't that bad compared to the way home. And there were also delays on our plane on the way home, which did not help. Arlo did watch his tablet for a little while, but his attention span wasn't great, to be honest, on the plane, and he did not want to wear his headphones. I bought him some, like, headband earphones. He just didn't want to wear them. I think he was just very overstimulated by everything. This was filmed just shortly after he had his massive tantrum episode, but to be honest, it could have been a lot worse on the way there, and he fell asleep for quite a long time, so I think we did we did good there it wasn't that bad really i'm going to be showing you my bite mark in a second which is actually really bad it really hurt me something i wish that i did that i i didn't actually do was put arlo's teddy bears on a lanyard because he kept dropping them and they were just going on the plane floor and it was just getting really gross so i definitely recommend doing that even if you just put like a hairband attached to the lanyard around your toys um your kids toys it would be better than them falling on the floor all the time. Just, just a quick update. Um, so, Arlo has bit Olivia, as you can see, today. Uh, we are now fast approaching. It is. 
it was only like a nightmare for about 20 minutes, but apart from that, it's been good for the rest of the flight. And you agree? say although I'm being real and showing you exactly what happened I'm not going to sugarcoat anything but I don't want to put you off going on a plane with a toddler because the holiday itself and the memories outweigh the 20 minutes in this case half an hour of drama so please don't let it put you off because we did have the best time. The flight was interesting um yeah we're all weird here it was about half an hour, 45 minutes of pure chaos, um, and then he fell asleep. So he was just Hello, not on the fire door. No, not on the fire door. He was just really overtired. But now what we're going to do, because we actually landed early, our bags came out straight away. We um, are going to go find our bus. We might have to wait on our bus for a little bit, but it's what it is. Um, we're just excited to get get there and make the most of the day. What's the time? About half 11? 11.43. 11 so we're going to get to the hotel, we're going to show you around a little bit and get our swimsuits on and get in the pool to be honest because I'm just so here for the warm weather after the coldest winter ever. Should we go? Hey. Should we find the bus? Arlo absolutely loved going on the bus and looking out the window and seeing all the cars and other buses. So he really did enjoy this part of the journey. Um, I will say also on the way back, Tenerife Airport um, was okay actually. Like they have a separate security section for adults with children and they have like even a little crash area when you're doing the security things. So it was really good. Um, apart from like actually getting on the plane, I found that in Tenerife, they just, they didn't have their shit together basically. They were, the queue system was just ridiculous. Um, but the security area was good for children. So I will give them that. We are on the bus for about half an hour, I think. And Arlo's got his own seat. I was really worried about him being on this bus because he doesn't have a car seat. Um, I know some people actually take their car seats or can rent car seats out there. So do look into that if that's something you're um, you're wanting to do. But because this was such a short bus ride, I just thought, okay, I'll try it out. And he was okay actually sitting on his own seat. <laughs> So we arrived at our hotel, which was the Rue Palace in Tenerife. Now this hotel, I would give probably 4.5 stars. And I think it was rated around that as well. Um, I think it's really, really good for older people. Like it was full of pensioners really. Um, and there were probably about three or four other children in the hotel, so there weren't many. It's not a kids oriented hotel. There's nothing really for children. There's no kids disco, no kids club, nothing like that. There is a tiny kids pool, but saying that if you're thinking of going on your first holiday with your toddler or baby this is actually the perfect place because Arlo was so so stimulated that even just being in the sun and being in the pool was enough for him anything else would have been even more um, because he was just having tantrum after tantrum on this holiday he was just so tired all the time so this was a great place to go for your like toddler's first holiday as you can see it's beautiful as well it's so stunning it's in Costa Deji and you can just walk towards the left to go to like Las Americas or Los Cristianos and we did that a few times we did the five mile walk down there with Arlo in the push chair we're about to head to our room. We're just waiting for the all clear so we can get our key and get our suitcases in and we're gonna head straight down to the pool. Whilst we're waiting, we were also offered some champagne and Arlo was offered an orange juice, which he drunk. And yeah, it's just, it's a really nice atmosphere in this hotel and um, as I said before, it's like mainly older people in it and I was a bit worried and I did feel a bit self-conscious um, when he was having his tantrums because there weren't many other children around. So I'd say probably 
probably up to two or three this hotel is going to be okay for your little one but after that maybe go somewhere with more kids activities hello so we've just got here and um reception have actually upgraded me um to like a bigger room uh, so yeah we've got quite a big room now probably probably not going to use it all to be honest but i'll show you guys the tour so this is our door here we come in and this is like a little like waiting area this is like our main room here and then this is our bathroom not even been in it yet to be honest um this is our bathroom where's the light switch there we go so this is our bathroom here got a nice double sink situation a lovely walk-in shower um looks really nice size and then you've got a toilet and everything there um and then walking around here we've got a wardrobe Arlo keeps running off into the other the other space we've got massive wardrobe here iron and everything more pillows and then we've got a bed which is lovely got a little fan as well air conditioning as well tv cot sofa area and then um coming out here we've also got like lovely sea views like on the side which is lovely and then this was a surprise because they upgraded me but um coming into here we've got another room have you got the key mikey so i can put the light on pass me the key out right. of oh, that one just in the in the area there um so like i said probably not going to use this all of this space but um we've got here like another little room which is meant to be like a side room but arlo is not going to be staying in here on his own but um we've got like a little bathroom area shower there toilet there and then coming around here got a little kitchen area mini wardrobe another little bed and a little TV area, and then another balcony. But I'm actually feeling like just a bit spaced out, <laughs> to be honest. I'm a little bit drunk because I came in and they gave Prosecco, and because I haven't eaten anything, I'm such a lightweight, like I'm a massive lightweight. Arlo, what are you doing? I'm a massive lightweight. Um, I, I had a glass of Prosecco and I honestly feel hammered. I feel completely out of it, to be honest um so yeah first time vlogging drunk um sure there's gonna be much more to come this week god it's hit me so much it really has anyone else like this such a lightweight um but yeah we're gonna get our swimsuits on and stuff now go down to the pool area and go in the pool and have some lunch really Woo! good boy you're really good at weaning that aren't you should we go find your cot come on then chicken go around here and go find daddy whoa sorry baby right yeah so for Arlo he's got he's got a cot here which looks all right to be fair um yeah so he's going to be sleeping here next to me I think the rooms are like designed um to be like if you have an older child they have a room on the side um it's called like the family suite so yeah it's quite nice we've got the little like reception lobby area thing as well but we're gonna get going now because mikey's really hungry i'm hungry and i need something to eat and we're gonna get in the pool Thank you guys so much as always for watching and supporting me in all my videos. Do pop me a comment below and say hi, I'd love to chat to you. I've got a holiday kids hacks and day in the life video coming to you soon. So stay tuned for that and have a lovely rest of your week guys.